Hello, everyone. This is New Day Restoration. My name is Danny Diaz. Thank you so much for joining. It is actually pretty late. I'll probably um, upload this in the morning. Um, I usually don't shoot this late at night. I usually shoot in the morning. But um, tonight, just a little while ago, I was spending some time with the Lord. And um, I started to think about a conversation that I had with one of the women that I am coaching, and we were talking about unforgiveness. And as I was spending time with the Lord, um, I just began to remember the process that the Lord took me through um, to deal with the unforgiveness in my heart. Um, I believe that God um, really approaches this with many of us in the same way during our stand. So I took some notes um, and I'm hoping that this will help someone that is struggling in this area. You know, when we first come to standing it, you've just taken like a huge blow. So it takes a while to get your bearings straight and you're kind of all over the place. And um, if you really get before the Lord and allow God to do what he wants to do in you, then you are going to come face to face with dealing with some unforgiveness. So I'm just here to tell you, don't fight it. Just allow God to take you through the process because there's so much liberty in um, unforgiveness. And it's something that is so necessary. So I've taken some notes. Um, they're up on my screen. So I'm just going to um, read them to you. So the first step um, that he took me through was he chiseled the ice on my heart. So he begins to soften your heart. So God is able to do so much more when we're in a state of brokenness because our heart posture is where it needs to be. We're humbled um, and we're in a place of desperation. So he begins to soften your heart during this time. So the next step that the Lord took me through is he magnifies the offense. So when when God is um, dealing with your unforgiveness, he no doubt is going to deal with the current offense, the offense of your spouse, but he's not only going to deal with this, your spouse, he is going to magnify all of the people that have offended you. Um, well, the ones that you're holding on to the offense. So the ones that um, you have not forgiven, he is going to magnify the offense. So God takes us through a process to forgive. First, he gives you a magnifying glass to observe the offense that caused unforgiveness and bitterness. He does this because many of us will sweep the incident under the rug and subconsciously hold on to the emotion that was attached to the offense. This is a straight up tactic from the enemy. You know, this is the devil. He makes you believe that the offense has not harmed you. So you go on with your life, never processing or surrendering the hurt to God. As God takes you through the healing process through standing, he pulls the offense from under the rug and magnifies it. Just because we don't talk about it doesn't mean that it's not there. Doesn't mean that it doesn't exist. I have a perfect example of that. So um, my parents, they divorced when I was four years old. I'm 42 now. So they divorced when um, I was four and um, my stepfather raised me, but my biological father and I have never really had a relationship. So from the age of four um, to now, I can say we've probably have seen each other eight times. So that just kind of paints a picture of what our relationship is like. And I remember um, the Lord taking me through the process of um, forgiving and the Holy Spirit highlighted my biological father. And I was really shocked by that because I thought that I had forgiven him because I never thought about him. I didn't get angry, you know, when thinking about him. But the Holy Spirit began to minister to me and I really started to realize that I had not forgiven my father and I had not released that hurt and pain over to the Lord. So I was making decisions um, in my life that um, were a, a direct result of the hurt and the pain and the unforgiveness that I was holding on to, that I was ignoring, but it was still being reflected in my life, like in my relationships. You know, I had, I had this strong spirit of rejection um, on me and especially in relationships um, because of my biological father. So God really magnified that offense and made me deal with that. I actually reached out to my father and told him that I love him, that I forgive him. 
Um, so he's going to do that with your spouse. And he's also going to do that um, with the other people that have um, hurt you in your past. So the next step that he took me through was he asked for accountability. So he doesn't ignore the offense, but God takes the victim mentality out of the equation and asks you to become accountable by focusing on yourself. So God will now put you in the same person's shoes by reminding you that we have and will offend him and he forgives and loves us unconditionally. We, we have offended um, God in so many different ways. We've betrayed the Lord. We've committed adultery on him. We've placed idols above him, have denied him. And the list just goes on and on. So in Matthew 18, 21, Jesus is talking to Peter about forgiveness. And Peter asks um, him, do we forgive our brothers seven times? So in our carnal mind, you know, that sounds generous. Like seven times is a lot. So I understand why Peter asked that, that question. And Jesus responds and says, no, up to 70 times seven. So we must forgive so we can be released of sin and live liberated. Think about it. Jesus forgave us while he was on the cross. Think about the magnitude of that. That's huge. So the next step that the Lord took me through was offering me a new viewpoint. So now that you've dealt with the victim mentality, God gives you his viewpoint. God will allow you to see the person who has hurt you through his eyes. He will show you his heart for them. He will impress in your heart to examine what could have caused this person to hurt you. He may highlight their childhood or traumas, which causes you to be moved with compassion. So um, I remember one time, this was early on in my stand. This was uh, the first time I stood. Um, I just remember I was in prayer and I was crying out to the Lord and it was like, oh, like, whoa, is me. Like everything was just focused on my pain and, you know, uh, why I was going through this and why my hu husband wasn't honest with me about certain things before we uh, got married and ma I wouldn't have, have married him. And, you know, he's selfish and, you know, all these, these different things that um, I was just going in on my husband, basically. And in a moment, the Lord said to me, I love him and he's my child too. And when I heard that, it really convicted me and it really made me understand that God forgives us. God loves us. God sees the true nature of us. And, um, you know, he sees what we're not able to see. So sometimes we have to ask the Lord to loan us his eyes, right? So he's going to do that um, during this process. Next step is God gives you the truth. So at the time that person harmed you, they were or still may be in a spiritual crisis. So we wrestle not with flesh and blood. We know that. So many people who hurt others are under the influence. They are not sober in spirit. So back to our spouses, we understand that many of them have stepped away from the marriage because they are under the influence. They are under the influence of enemy spirits. You know, Satan hates divorce. God is for marriage. Satan hates whatever God is for. So of course he is going to try to split up your marriage because not only um, can he cause soul wounds in you and your spouse? He can, you know, penetrate through the whole family. He can take the whole family out through divorce. So of course he's going to try and, and separate, you know, your marriage. But we have to understand that, um, you know, Satan will usually go after the weaker link in, in faith. So the person that um, has less of a connection with the Lord um, a person who is not really walking in the will of God, that is a person that Satan seeks his eyes on. That is a person that the, the person that is most vulnerable, that is who he's going to go after to take out the whole family. But we have to remember that many of our spouses' minds are being held captive. So we're not wrestling and fighting with our spouse. It's what's influencing them. That's who our fight is with. So um, the last step that the Lord took me through is to bless them. 
So he will ask you to release the offense and bless them. And this really is the test if you really have for, forgiven someone. If you can bless them genuinely, then that's a sign of forgiveness. So you guys, I'm not going to stay on long. I'm going to get to bed, but I really hope um, this, this helps someone. And um, if you have any questions, definitely ask your questions um, in the YouTube uh, comment section. I will um, answer them and, and respond to them. Um, and yeah, just let me know if, if you have um, already gone through the process of um, forgiveness, let me know um, if this matched up to what God took you through. All right, you guys. Love you. God bless. Take care.